Hello, hello, it's me again. Today we talk about rectilinear motion. And this video is an exam-oriented video. We discuss about the questions that might be appear in your tutorials or your exam. Who knows? So let's get started. And today I feel a little bit unwell. Hope you can bear with me. Let's go. Average speed and average velocity. So this concept, we talk about the speed is a scalar quantity. Velocity is a vector quantity. So we look at what is the difference between them. Average speed is equal to the total distance travel over the total time. So distance is a scalar quantity. So we know that from last video, distance versus displacement. All right. Whereby average velocity, this is the symbol for velocity. And we talk about average, we need to add a small bar here means for average. Is equal to the change in the displacement over the change in time. So difference distance versus displacement. Speed is distance, velocity is displacement. So we can put in this symbol a small triangle means change in the displacement over the change in the time. So also we can say the final displacement or the final position minus the initial displacement or the initial position. Or sometimes, if condition uh, is available, we can use this one. It's equal to the initial velocity plus the final velocity divided by 2. Another concept we need to pay attention is the direction sign. So you can assume any direction as the positive, and while the opposite is negative. For example, usually we assume that to the right is positive, while the opposite, which is the left, is negative sign. And usually also assume that upward is positive and downward is negative sign. But sometimes in the question that uh, all the motions just related is pointing downwards. So at the time, you can say downwards is positive and upward is negative. It's up to you. But just usually to the right is positive and upward is positive. Okay. We look at some example. Given a ball's motions is defined as s equal to t squared minus 6t plus 5. So displacement as a function of time. We need to find the average velocity and the average speed when time equal to 6 seconds. Okay. We plug in the formula. Velocity is the change in displacement over the, the change in time. Or we can say the second position minus first position over second time minus the first time. Alright. Initial position is where the time is equal to zero. The final position is what we're going to find when time equal to six seconds is given here. Time is six seconds. This is the final position. Okay. And we plug in the value of time is equal to zero. S equal to zero squared minus six times zero plus five. And we got five as the initial position. And the final position, right now we sub in the value of six. You go to 6 squared minus 6 times 6 plus 5. We also got the same as equal to 5 meter. From here, you notice that the initial position and the final position, they are the same. It means that the change in the displacement might be 0. So we plug in 5 minus 5 over 6 minus 0. And we got is 0 meter per second. Because the displacement is 0, therefore it's very normal that the average velocity is 0 as well. Next, we need to find the average speed when time equals 6 seconds. Given that the average speed is equal to total distance over total time. So, we need to be aware that because the equation given here is for displacement, but we need to find the distance. If we use back the same method where it substitutes t equal to 6, we might get 0 for the average speed. But that's not the case because we need to find for distance not displacement. So in order to do that, we need to be aware is there any change in the direction for this ball moves. How do we find that uh, the moment exactly where the ball changes its direction? So it's when the velocity is equal to zero, that, that is the exactly moment where the ball changes its direction. So in order to do that, we need to find the velocity function. How do we find that? We differentiate in respect to the time for the displacement. So t squared minus 6t plus 5, we differentiate it, we got 2t minus 6. And let this equation, let it becomes to 0, 
and we find that the t is equal to 3 seconds. And this is the moment where exactly the direction changes. Then, using the time is equal to 3 seconds, we need to find the position. So, we find that the displacement is equal to negative 4 meter. Means, if, just like I say just now, if to the right is positive, negative should be to the left. If we illustrate the movement of the ball, we can see that the ball, when time is equal to 0, is 5 meter, but when it is 3 seconds, is moved to the left. And this is negative 4. And the distance between them is 9 meter, because from 5 going to negative 4. And after that, as time equal to 6 seconds, it moves back to the first position here. So 9 meter plus 9 meter, we got 18 meter. Therefore, the total distance travel actually is 18 meter instead of 0 because that's the displacement. Therefore, 18 meter over 6 second, we got 3 meter per second. And that's the average speed. All right. So let's look at another example. So we can pause a while and try it yourself. A B moves in a straight line path, which its position is S equal to T cubed minus 6 T squared minus 15 T plus 7. This is the displacement function. Determine the average velocity and the average speed when time equal to 10 seconds. So it's the same. We're using the same process to solve this uh, problem. Using the equation, and then we define the initial position and the final position when time equal to 0 and the time equal to 10. We substitute time equal to 0 here, or for all the t, we get 7 meter. We substitute 10 for all the value here, we got 257 meter and then we just minus them together and we got the average velocity is 25 meter per second and next we need to find the average speed again we have to be aware is there any change in direction all right we need to get the functions of the velocity so we differentiate of this equation in respect to the time we got 3t squared minus 12t plus 5 and we will let it equal to 0 because we need to find is there any change direction the moment so is we solve for the quadratic okay because times 3 uh, we bring word also divided by 3 is the same or 0 and we make it into two bracket and we find that t equal to 5 second or negative 1 in for this process you can use your calculator as well uh, that will be faster if you think and there are two values here but negative 1 is invalid. So far, for humankind, we can't uh, not yet discover time machine. So we can't reverse for the time to, to go back. Uh, so negative 1 is not valid here. So only valid here is the 5 seconds. So we just ignore negative 1. We use the value for time equal to 5 seconds. So again, we find the position where time equal to 0, time equal to 5, time equal to 10 seconds. We got 7 meter negative 93 meter and 257 meter so if, if we illustrate this one the b started from its initial position and for the time is b is moving to the left because it's negative here from 7 to negative 33 and the distance between them is 100 meter because 7 minus negative 93 is 100 and then the b moves to the right Okay, and then the distance is 350 meter. So the total distance travel 100 plus 350. Alright, and we got the speed is 450 over 10 is 45 meter per second. So we notice the average velocity and the average speed usually they are different values.